State your business. New recruit. More kindling for the pyre, eh? Well, go on then. How did you manage that? Did you forget, sir? My commission is with General Braddock. When I'm not attending to you, of course. Pitcairn, you fool! Your acts are treacherous! Give me one good reason. I shouldn't kill you right now. Were you planning to announce yourself? Or did you hope my men Sir, wouldn't notice your if arrival? if you'll allow me to explain. Ho <laughs> ho! By all means. I should like very much to hear this. I have not deserted, sir. I am here under Commander Amherst's orders. Show me a letter bearing his seal, and you might be spared the gallows. I have no such thing. The nature of my work, sir, it's... It's the sort of thing best not put to paper. Hey, them. General Braddock? I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Wolves often travel in packs. Master Pitcairn won't be here for but a few weeks. I shall return him to his proper post once our work is finished. The devil's work, no doubt. It's bad enough my superiors have insisted. I grant you use of Charles. But they said nothing about this traitor. You'll not have him. Edward, listen to reason. We're done here. See these gentlemen out. Well, that didn't go as I expected. And to think I used to call him brother. What now? Well, they'll chase us off if we try and return. We're done with this camp. And as luck would have it, so are they. Come along. What are you planning? To steal Master Pitcairn. What? You'll see. Now, when I give the signal, you're to distract Braddock's patrol and lure them into a dead end. On Marlborough. No. Its residents are too con. What of Lynn or Ship Street? Yes. Those fresh arrived are often soon in dire straits. They're more likely to seize upon an opportunity to fatten their purses and feed their young. Scoundrels, one and all! Fire on you and your false war! <laughs> After him! Unhand him, Edward. Ah, uh, you again. Let us go. And John Pitt can with us. <laughs> I will not have my authority challenged. 
nor I. Put them all in chains. Join them on their fool's errand. And when you find yourself lying... I assume broken, you've good reason for causing all this madness. What is it you require of me? I'll explain everything on the way. Gentlemen, I believe I found the solution to our problem. Or rather, Odysseus has. How do you? Are you a new guy? The Greek hero, you lobcock. Allow me to explain. We enter Silas' fort under the pretext of kinship. Once inside, we spring our trap, free the captives, and kill the slaver. <laughs> dodgy, dodgy. I like it. Then. Let us begin. First, we need to find ourselves a convoy. Convoy should be here soon. We'll attack on my signal. Understood, sir. If we time this right, we can catch them all unawares. William to serve as vanguard. Let no man reach us. What about me? You and John will follow from a distance and keep watch over us. I'll signal you when I have need of your services. We're here to help you, along with those held inside Southgate Fort. 
free me. Not until we're inside the gate. I can't chance an inspection of the gate going wrong. I'll see you safe. You have my word. Mechanical forging of all dimensions and specifications. Price of meat now represented in... Do you know anything of Silas' operation? How many men we might expect? The nature of their defenses? You must be rather important to him if you are given your own escort. Sir, we've enemies ahead. Shall I engage them? No. Let Jonathan and Thomas take care of it. As you wish. I wish you'd trust us. Though I suppose it's only natural for you to be wary. So be it. Engage the enemy! Only say the word, and I'll cut them down. On your guard, men. Eh? Come here. And of course. Take a look. Only say the word, and I'll cut them down. One moment there. Engage the enemy. Come on, Let's see them strike yours to meet the reaper. All clear. State your business. Delivery for Silas. Go on then. See? 
I'm freeing you just as I said I would. Now, if you'll allow me to explain. Let her go. But she'll give us away. No, she won't. What's the plan? Free the captives and avoid detection. What of Silas? He dies. I know when you're ready to strike. What are Our you talking the watch. about? Prisoner. Thomas Smith, soldier. newly recruited. Hey, Prisoner. I arrived said from London just last like week. Who are you to tell me what to do? Good so said Silas. Oh, they do not exist. I, I see. Understood. My apologies. Take care with your tongue unless you're not. Certainly, sir. Thomas Smith, newly recruited. Prisoner. I said from London just
An hour of quiet was all I asked. Instead, I'm awakened not ten minutes later by this cacophonous madness. I expect an explanation, and it had best be good. How? How did this happen? My precious merchandise set free! It's unacceptable! Rest assured, I'll have the heads of those responsible. But first, first we clean up this mess! Seal the port, kill any who try to escape. I don't care if they be one of us or one of them. To approach the gate is to be made a corpse. Am I understood? Push them back. I could use some help. The order stands united. Kill the intruders! All of them. I'll kill it you like a god. He's the one responsible! Kill him! Who are you? Name's Hatham Kenway. You don't know me. But I believe the two of you are well acquainted. I made a promise to you, Cyrus. One I intend to keep. What happens now? We wait. But not for very long, I suspect. It's been several weeks now since we freed the Mohawk prisoners from captivity. I had hoped their leader might make contact, but there's been only silence. My men grow restless. They want to know what comes next, and I do not have an answer. Lee alone remains active, pursuing leads however slight. He stalks the city streets and scouts the bordering woods, hopeful that he might make contact with one of those we saved. There was a woman there that night. It was she who helped the others to safety. If we can find her, I believe I'll have my answers. So, I watch and wait, hopeful that my true mission might finally begin.
Hello, Charles. Any luck finding our mystery woman? Word is she's been stirring up trouble just outside the city in a town called Lexington. Well, then that's where we begin our search. I'll meet you there.